Wireless transmission is key to our life as it liberates us from the hassle of cables. From radios to wireless headphones, wireless communication has seamlessly woven into our daily lives and found widespread applications across various industries. We can't imagine life without it, yet we often don't really understand it. We hear terms like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, and 2.4 GHz, sub 1 GHz, but what do they mean? Wireless communication refers to the transmission of information through electromagnetic waves. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Zigbee are technologies to realize wireless communication. But what are electromagnetic waves? Well, the light coming from your cell phone screen, red, green, and blue, are visible electromagnetic waves. Electromagnetic waves of varying frequencies exhibit distinct properties and characteristics. For example, high-frequency electromagnetic waves can penetrate the human body as used in X-ray imaging, while lower-frequency waves are applied in 4G and 5G wireless communication technologies. Based on different properties of electromagnetic waves across the frequency spectrum, the International Telecommunication Union established fixed channel standards for wireless radio communication for different industries and purposes. For instance, there are channels standards designated for FM broadcasting and GPS satellite communication services. Among them, the ISM band is open primarily to industrial, scientific, and medical institutions without the need for licenses or fees. As countries adopt varying regulations regarding the utilization of the ISM frequency band, the 2.4 GHz band stands out as a widely utilized open frequency. Due to its initial access to ample spectrum space and simplified bi-directional device operation, wireless technologies such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Zigbee flourished in this band. However, as demands have increased, the 2.4 GHz frequency band is now experiencing congestion near its limits. This congestion can result in a slowdown in transmission speed, data retransmission or refusal, and potentially compromise the performance of nearby wireless communication devices. In such circumstances, the addition of tens of billions more IoT devices to the already congested 2.4 GHz band would be unimaginable. That is how sub 1 GHz, which is also within the ISM frequency range, started to attract people's attention. As the name suggests, sub 1 GHz operates at a frequency below 1 GHz resulting in a significantly longer wavelength than 2.4 GHz. A longer wavelength means longer reach and broader coverage. Moreover, under the same environmental conditions, the longer wavelength of sub-1 GHz facilitates better signal transmission by allowing it to bypass objects and obstacles more effectively. A lot of research indicates that, along the same transmission path, longer electromagnetic wavelengths result in less path loss. This means that under the same conditions, signal transmission at 2.4 GHz experiences higher path loss, causing the signal to rapidly attenuate below the detection threshold and become difficult to detect. As a result, to get signals across the same distance as sub-1 GHz, you have to increase the transmission power of the 2.4 GHz device, resulting in mm -hmm. higher power consumption. But you can't elevate the transmission power without limits due to restrictions posed by transmission antenna and various regulatory standards. That is why communication solutions on the sub-1 GHz frequency band emerge as the optimal choice for long-distance communication. In the PV industry, where application scenarios are complex and changeable, sub-1 GHz frequency band is gradually becoming an ideal frequency range for PV products, thanks to its superior diffraction capabilities and broader coverage. Oymiles has taken the lead by developing and implementing the sub-1 GHz communication technology in its microinverters. It not only offers more reliable and efficient communication experiences for users, but also guarantees energy-efficient PV operations and robust data transmission.